although New York's World Trade Center was larger than life. It only held the title of world's tallest building for a mere moment. I think we're all pleased that it's finally completed and ready to operate. Just a month after it was dedicated in 1973, it was eclipsed by the Sears Tower in Chicago. As part of the engine of the economy and very excited moments of investment, there tend to be clusters of world's tallest buildings that compete with each other for the title. High-rise fever is contagious, says Carol Willis of the Skyscraper Museum in Manhattan. And X marks the spot. It's absolutely the demand for location that produces high-rise buildings. So today, the obvious business impetus of the skyscraper were true from the very beginning. The first buildings to be called skyscrapers ascended in America in the late 1800s, after the invention of steel frame construction, and elevators, of course. Businesses with lofty ambitions had a new way to one-up each other, even during the Great Depression. In 1930, the Bank of Manhattan Trust Building shot up 927 feet. The Chrysler Building soared to more than 1,000 feet. And then, in 1931, Men pierced the sky to build the world's tallest skyscraper. The Empire State Building reigned as the world's tallest building, 1,250 feet, for another 40 years. Tall buildings command attention, but can have trouble commanding rent. In recent years, the Empire State Building was dubbed the Empty State Building. This is Burj Khalifa, which is the world's tallest building. Today, building to dizzying heights has become a foreign affair. The tallest structure in the world is a 2,700-foot residential building in Dubai. China has plans for 22 new stratospheric skyscrapers in the next five years. But with the exception of the new One World Trade Center and the just begun Two World Trade Center, no super tall buildings are planned for the U.S. It's extraordinary how the export of this building type that was born in the invention of the American city is now being embraced around the world. Which of course means no matter where on earth the next tallest building stands, its foundation will be here in America.